how to respond to an opioid overdose and administer intramuscular naloxone. Naloxone should be administered to a person experiencing a known or suspected opioid overdose as an additional support until an ambulance arrives. Please follow the recommended PPE guidelines at this time. The signs and symptoms of an opioid overdose are any combination of shallow or no breathing, snoring or rasping sounds, a bluish tinge to the lips and nails in white skin, or a greyish tinge in black skin, no response to noise or touch, small or pinpoint pupils, pale and clammy skin. If you see any of these signs, call for someone nearby to help you, call 999 or 112 for an ambulance, providing your air code if possible, and ask someone to fetch an AED and naloxone. Before you approach the person, make the area safe by moving anything that may harm you. Check for response to sound and touch. If there's no response, open their airway by gently tilting their head back and lowering their chin. Check to see if they are breathing for no longer than 10 seconds. Can you see or feel their chest rising? If the person is breathing, move them onto the floor and put them into the recovery position. Put their nearest arm in a high five position. Put the back of their hand to their cheek and hold it there. Bend their far knee up and tuck their foot under their other leg. Pull the knee to roll them over. Tilt their head back and lift their chin to open the airway and straighten their leg. Twist the yellow box to open it. It contains a pre-filled syringe with five doses of naloxone and two needles. The second needle is in case the first one gets damaged. Remove the needle from the packet, leaving the protective cover on. Unscrew the grey plastic top. Screw the needle into the syringe. Hold the syringe with your hands together and remove the sheath covering the needle. Each pack is for single, individual use only. Holding it like a pen, inject through clothing into the middle third of the outer thigh, avoiding seams and pockets. Make sure you can see the line showing the doses. Press down to the next black line to inject one dose. Take it out and place it in the yellow box. Keep it nearby in case you need to administer further doses. Do not replace the protective sheath on the needle. Repeat a cycle of monitoring the person for two to three minutes to make sure they are still breathing. Then give a further dose of naloxone if required until the person is responsive or the ambulance arrives. If the person stops breathing normally, start chest compressions. If the person is not breathing normally, move them onto the floor. You need a flat, hard surface to start chest compressions. Place the heel of your hand on the center of their chest Interlock your fingers and with your arm straight, press down on the centre of the breastbone, five to six centimetres. Repeat this 30 times, then administer naloxone. Repeat a cycle of 100 chest compressions, then a further dose of naloxone until the person is responsive or the ambulance arrives. If the person starts to breathe normally again, put them into the recovery position. Remember, Check the area and make it safe for you. Call for someone to help you. Check for observable signs of overdose. Call 999 or 112. If they are breathing, put them in the recovery position. And if not, start chest compressions, administer naloxone and wait with them until the ambulance arrives. Recognising an opioid overdose and administering naloxone can save lives.